Welcome, guys, to Sidmere Starships. This is a iPad game, PC game, and a Mac game, so I've got to, you know, set my expectations accordingly. Great thing is it's only 15 bucks on Steam. Um, so I'm not expecting a whole lot out of it, but I am expecting uh, a good amount of, uh, you know, strategy and, uh, you know, spaceships and fleet flavor. Gotta have that. Love it. So let us go on our maiden voyage together with our fleet, name our ships something badass, and uh, see what this game has to offer. So uh, the first annoying thing you'll notice here is that uh, the full screen, uh, there's only full screen windowed and full screen, which are actually just full screen window. That's pretty much it. I can't, can't get rid of it. Can't go actual full screen. Uh, and the uh, settings are pathetic. But, as you can tell, it's probably optimized for iPad. Anyways, um, okay, so let's uh, start a new game. Um, Alright, so we start here with map size, difficulty, opponents, and we get to choose a leader. Alright, we'll go with a... Uh, let's go with, for the purposes of this video, let us do a small... And let us go on impossible difficulty because I am quite a veteran in these matters. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Victories, domination, population, wonders, science. So there is multiple victory conditions, but I'm pretty sure in this game you're gonna have to use, um, you're gonna have to use basic combat all the time. Now we do have to choose our affinity up here. We forgot about that. That is super important uh, because it's going to make our ships look a lot different. I don't like how it doesn't show what your ships look like. But oh well, we're going with Supremacy. We're going with uh, Kozlov. And let's do this. Let's go with Science. Approaching Lasarte 61. Receiving transmission. Two of our starships have been cornered by a Marauder Squadron in an unfamiliar part of the galaxy. We'll need about five turns before we can warp our way out of here. Shall we tough it out? Well, there's... There's no multiple choice, so yes, I guess we'll tough it out. Ah, here we go. Yes, our ships are up to the task, or we have more urgent matters to attend to. Let's take on the Marauders. Or we can get some advice from these guys. Tell me more about the enemy vessel. So it's just a single Corvette and one fighter squadron. Sensors are reporting the following Marauder vessels. Probability of completing this mission is 65%. Never tell me the odds. Never. Our ships are up to the task. Let's do it. Survive until escape plan is complete. Five turns. Energy weapons will penetrate asteroids. Alright, here we go. I cannot move the screen because it's not full screen. So, I have no idea. Great. I have to use the fucking... the fucking arrows on my keyboard. Alright, I see the enemy right here. It's out of range and out of range. Let's come around these asteroids. Oh, this is annoying. Shit. 29 fucking damage already. Oh man, I have uh, 16 health points. That probably was not the best idea. Maybe we should um, run. Yes, let us run. Time. 
Well, yeah, that uh, that didn't go so well. <laughs> My civilization is fucked. Wait, they didn't die. Let's use some of our one thousand energy to repair our damaged starships. Repairing a starship is more cost effective than building new starships. Starships with 100% damage must be repaired before they can be used again. Yeah, they're at 100% damage, so they wouldn't have been able to, uh, to be used again. So, we're gonna do that again. But this time, hopefully, Marauders don't fuck us up. Well, picking the alternative option just basically tells us, uh, no, go home. I can tell our crew, six of my crew members are operating at reduced effectiveness, considering giving them shore leave. So let's just give them shore leave here. Ooh, we got some enemies coming in. Just... The African people greet you. Apparently we're not alone in this galaxy. Good day. I am the divine ruler of the eternal kingdom. And but you're not even moving. Indeed, Ilmo. Fast Corvette and a destroyer. What are you doing? Fucking shit up in my galaxy. <laughs> Absolutely unacceptable. Approaching Sigmi forty two. Yes, Commander. How dare he come into my territory and try to take my my fleet? Huh. <sighs> yeah. I have contaminants. Oh. All I know is I'm about to get my ass kicked. That's about That's about all I know. Oh shit, torpedo! Oh my god. So what's the point in this this view here? Let's just detonate this shit early. All right, we got a little bit of a uh, little bit of damage there, and let's try seven damage. That's about all you got from me. Oh, brother. No, no, no. Oh, there goes a piece of my ship. Oh, you got fucking. Look at them next time. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. I think it's about time we restart. And instead of choosing impossible, we choose uh, hard. So let's upgrade the starship. To upgrade your ship, use the tech buttons below. Okay. So we could use. We can upgrade our engines. We can go to our shields. Armor increases your health by 30. Let's do that. We seem to be getting our butt kicked a lot on armor. I'm just gonna beef up the armor there. Okay. Now with our armored up ships. What is this? Build improvements? Build cities? My, why not? Five billion citizens. Let's change the name of this uh, this system to something we like. Um, yeah. 
Great. Ah, maybe I haven't found it. Hold up. Um, yeah. Doesn't appear that you can do something as simple as rename a planet, so fine. Surely we can rename our fleet, our, our... If we can't rename our ships... Seriously? Triple combo! The whole fucking reason why I bought this is so that I could fucking... Well, I didn't buy it, I got the review code, but I was looking forward to buying it. So that I can rename ships. I can't even rename ships. Yeah, you guys seeing this? Come on. Alright. Fine. I mean, maybe I don't rename them there. Maybe it's a different part of the screen here. Let's see. No, that's the diplomacy screen. We'll go to settings. No. No, of course not. Um, uh, maybe crew? Crew? No. Okay. Well, um, that's it. I give up. Fuck this game. rename planets you don't want to let us rename ships fine approaching Doradas 33 it's got some really nice art though I wish they would have made the art move put a, you could put a little more effort into the art moving but whatever it looks like the marauders have a new class of dreadnought commanding a marauder squadron Will you destroy the new Gamma Dreadnought? Seriously? <laughs> we got our fucking asses kicked, and you want me to destroy a fucking Dreadnought? Deathcraft Gamma? Well, tell me more about the system. No, I don't need, I don't need system information. I need to know about the enemy vessels. So, a big ass fucking Dreadnought, its health is only 65. It's got two fighter squadrons. This guy is not giving us a good uh, probability of completing it. He's giving it even worse than what we had last time. What do you suggest? Let's do it! <laughs> I never back down from the fight. Never tell me the odds. We're gonna take on these, these fighters. Oh my god, he's right in front of us. They're out of our range. Let's see if we could get the uh, strategic uh, drop on them here. Fighters online. We're gonna launch our fighters. I didn't even realize we had fighters. fighters launch our launched. fighters. All fighters, all fighter squadrons report in. What the fuck is that? You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Fighters, do something. Fight. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. For the love of God. Okay, that's it. Return fire. The Jolly Rogers, this is the fighter squadron. Jolly Rogers, that's a cool name. I wish I could name my own goddamn ships, but whatever. So let's have them go directly for the main enemy here. Do I have 
battle card. Hyperconductors increases firepower by 50% for this bitch. Let's do it. And I am at zero damage, so I'm gonna have to move in. And 15 damage. Enemy cannons disabled. There we go, we disabled his cannons. All ships move in for the kill. Oh shit. We lost the USS whatever that was. Cause I didn't fucking name it. Enemy sensors disabled. Finish him. Nice shot. Good work. Ah 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 ah. Besieged on all sides by my enemies. We are just reduced to our home world. So yes, building the one city did increase our population by one billion. If we spend another 2,250, we can build yet another city for the population victory. So the population capability is now 7 billion, and that will slowly grow to 7 billion. Not that it matters now. I mean, it doesn't matter now. But, uh... Let's get our ships back in action. We can only get two of them back in action. Bring it. He just added three ships to his fleet. One, two, three. Oh my god, I can't even count because this motherfucker's moving so fast. I think he's got seven ships, guys. Seven ships, here he comes. Oh, fuck. Chance of mission success, 20. 20% <laughs> success rate. Yeah. I uh, got fucking cruisers and fucking destroyers and fucking corvettes. Yeah. Pretty bad. Um, never give up. Never surrender. <laughs> yes, Commander. What we can do is we can hold the line, give the civilian fleets time to evacuate this sector, and start civilization elsewhere. But we need to hold him off for at least four turns. It's the Mimbari fleet attacking the Earth Alliance. We stand no chance militarily. But we're still going to hold the line and do the right thing. So that our civilian convoys can leave without being blown to bits. 49 damage or 33? I gotta take this to 49. Yeah, bitch! Woo! Score one for Earth Alliance! These fighters have to take that torpedo hit. 61 damage. Nice shot. Yeah, score two for Earth Alliance. Hold the line. No fucks given. <laughs> Enemy destroyer sighted. I disabled your cannons! Last remaining ship! 
Yeah. It's okay. All the civilians already Enemy made it off the planet. Excited. You guys get nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I blew up your flagship. Now I will present myself to you. To die in glorious battle is the greatest honor. A warrior. That's it? Oh, here it comes. Ah! Shields have been damaged. Enemy destroyer sighted. Bring it, motherfucker! Ah! We'll get him next time. There is no next time, you dumbass. That was our home world. Damn you, Putin! Damn you! All right, the Russians kicked our ass. We we have no population anymore. They obliterated us. That's not true. Some civilians got away, and uh, they're fine. But compared to their, what is this, billion? 46 billion? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. <clears throat> so, yeah, guys. Um, my initial impressions of Sid Meier's starships is probably like many of yours. Uh, meh. It's uh, disappointing as a PC game. It's acceptable as an iPad and mobile game, which. Um, is clearly what this is, clearly what it's been ported over. Uh, when you have an option screen that's that's all your options, it's a, it's an iPad game. Um, so, a little disappointed. <laughs> As somebody was saying, what is Beyond Earth? Not very much, unfortunately. It got a little bit better once you figure out the inner workings and the mechanics of the game. Uh, you just gotta make sure you're leveling up your ships a lot, uh, making them stronger. The larger battles, there's a good amount of strategy in there. Uh, there's basically not a whole lot of, you know, other stuff like economics and diplomacy. No, you're not gonna find that here. But it's it's a very, very stripped down, simplified version of a, you know, sort of space combat game. A little bit of 4X flavor, but not, not quite enough there. Um, Still, for what it is, I mean, fifteen dollars. It doesn't. It doesn't parade around like Beyond Earth that it's you know this big civilization game or a full, fully fledged uh, game at sixty bucks or fifty bucks. It is priced reasonably at fifteen dollars. So knowing that, I'm still, I'm still a little bit you know meh and average about it, but. Um, if you'd like to check it out, obviously it's on iPad, Mac, and uh, Steam, PC. Considering that it's only $15, uh, you know, the gameplay is pretty much going to be very similar every time you play. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things that you could pick up, play for a little bit, then forget about it. I was just hoping for a whole lot more from Starships, I really was. I guess we'll just have to wait for some other games to fulfill those needs. But for this game, very narrow focus, and it can be fun, but, yeah, meh. All right, anyway. All right, I'll see you guys uh, on the next Angry Joe show.